Well, hey everyone, Don Smith here. And today I just want to give you a quick glimpse at what I think is one of the coolest new features in image editing processing. And that's the AI sky replacement found in the new Skylum 4 software. And I just want to show how you can take a picture like this and literally inside a minute, turn it into a picture like that. So I've got a couple of images here that I want to play around with from a recent trip out to Utah where we taught our Bryce Zion workshop. And this is one of the Virgin River classic scene of the Watchmen here in the background. And, you know, it, it, I was going for this shot. I was using a Singray 10-stop more slow filter. And I was up on a rock out here in the middle of the river shooting, getting this nice silky flow. And I thought, you know, wouldn't this be just so cool if I could process this and I would have had a sky? Well, now in the new Luminar 4, which I've just started playing with a day or two ago, uh, I haven't gotten into all the goodies of the new software, but Luminar is just cranking out great stuff along with On1 and along with Topaz. And I'm going to be reviewing them all here. I'm going to take this image. I'm just going to come in down here in my landscape set and I'm going to just hit um, autumn colors. OK, and we'll just punch that up a little bit. Now, you're going to notice over here in Luminar 4, you used to have a blue filter button in Luminar 3 and then a fly out of all the, the filters would open up right here. Now they've kind of ca uh, categorized them for you. You have uh, essential, all the filters are still here. They're just in categories and creative. And uh, we even got one for portraiture and we got one for professional effects. But where this cool new sky replacement filter is, is under creative. You come up here. This is so awesome. Last night I was down at my gym uh, getting an exercise right around sunset time. We had some beautiful clouds in the sky. I had just gotten a new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Love that. We'll be doing a video on that uh, shortly. And I uh, just happened to walk outside and I shot about four or five frames of the sun setting on um, uh, just the sunset, just of the sky out, out uh, just out in front of our gym. I didn't put any buildings or anything into it. So when you come to Luminar, you will have all these preloaded, like uh, we can put in a dramatic sky here. OK, uh, let's come down to a sunset because this was getting down close to sunset time. But what I'm going to do now, again, this is off an iPhone. So I'm going to load a custom sky. Uh, picture and let's see I've kind of rehearsed this one so I'm gonna go to number three here I've tried this before and let's take a peek this let's open this up well I can't so anyway we're just gonna you're just gonna have to trust me this was shot off an iPhone 4 all right so now you have horizon blending you can position the horizon I can raise that up I can raise that down. That's really cool. So I'm going to do that. Now, Sky Global, this is, you can see up in here, there's a few little gaps where it didn't quite mask it. By the way, I've been doing masking for about 13 years now. Um, I've never seen anything that can handle detailed masking like this. This is just uh, beyond my wildest dreams. Let's come here to advanced setting. I'm going to close up some of those gaps in between those leaves there. And the sky local. I'm still not sure what this does. I'm just learning the program. Uh, you can defocus your sky here if you think it's a little too sharp. Um, here's the cool thing. You can flip the sky if you want. You know, it gives me a whole different look, and that's, that's kind of cool. But we'll just go with what I got. And you can warm the temperature up. You can cool the temperature down to suit you. Uh, you can even bring the exposure up to match the scene. And it's just really um, kind of a cool thing. Um, so that, that's just one image. Now, the one thing I would have to do to make this shot look believable is pick some of this warm light up and get it into this river. And... 
that's going to involve a little bit more masking, but um, you know, there may be a way in here that I can do that. I'm not so sure that that works, <laughs> but I'm going to be doing more of these videos down the line. So let's let's cancel out of this guy. I'm just trying to get you guys excited uh, seeing what I'm seeing. And we're going to come back over here to Photoshop. This is one from Bryce Canyon. This is uh, the very popular feature, hoodoo feature out there called Thor's Hammer, if you've ever been out to Bryce Canyon National Park. And this was just your typical clear sky, sunrise look, you know, with the blah sky in the background. So I'm going to open this back up. And we're going to come over here to the creative filters and come up to sky replacement and sky selection. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load this guy here out of my four sunset shots I took last night. And let's see what that does. That's pretty awesome. I mean, and look at how it just masks it in there beautifully for you. Again, we can do the horizon blending. Uh, we can raise that up or you can bring that down. We, we want to bring those clouds a little closer. It just masks them beautifully in between these hoodoos, around these hoodoos. Uh, those of you that have ever tried doing advanced masking, you just, you know how absolutely um, crazy this can be to, to try to mask like this. But, you know, I'm going to close up these gaps a little. And I think on this one, I'm just going to raise the temperature up a little bit. Just get a little more warmth in there. And I might pull the exposure up a little bit. Maybe about right, right in there. And you're done. You can hit apply. You know, it's cool. You can come up here to your swipes. You can see before. And after you can do a global, you can see a before, after. So a lot of ways to uh, get your eyes seeing exactly what's going on in that scene. Anyway, for you to take advantage of Luminar 4, if you're on Luminar 3 or if you're new to Luminar, it's put out by a company called Skylum. Gang, you really need to get this. It's pretty expensive. It's like $69. Come on. For as powerful, I would pay $69 for this feature alone. And if you use my code, and it's there on the screen, Don Smith, all capital letters, all run together. Guess what? The folks at Skylum are going to take another 10% off your order. Jump on this. This is awesome. I'm going to be looking at doing sky replacement in the new On One Raw 2020, which, believe it or not, because I've been on the road since August 1st, I just got that downloaded, and I've been playing with it, and I'm really excited about that. And next video, we'll take a look at how easy it is to replace skies with On One 2020. This stuff is just, it, it's blowing me away. The AI technology that's coming out of these three companies, Topaz, On One, and Luminar. Um, for somebody like me who's been a veteran that started back with Photoshop 2, this is a dream come true. I, I mean, these guys are just making it so easy for us to get these pictures. We'll go over, I mean, I could do a whole video on, well, is this right or wrong? Were those clouds there? They really weren't. You're throwing these in after the fact. That's a debate for another day. I love getting creative with my processing. It, and and I'm, I'm just, I'm at that age now. I, I'm not worried about what an editor is going to say or whatever. I'm trying to make myself happy with my photography. And if your goal is to be happy with your photography, I love processing every bit as much as I love being out in the field shooting. It's all part of the creative process. Um, here it is. I mean, AI sky replacement. Wow. Okay, so that's a quick wrap. That's just a quick look. We'll be diving into more stuff here in all three of these programs. In fact, I plan to do a breakdown of On One, of Luminar 4, and Topaz, some of the new stuff I'm using there, along with DxO Optics. But I don't have a, um, unfortunately, I don't have a code with them to get you a discount. But anyway, um, check this out, Luminar 4 Sky Replacement. Have a blast. We'll talk to you later.